Hello everybody, this is Ben Hansen from MinMax, giving you an intro for what you're about to watch or listen to, if you dare. Uh, this is New Show Plus, where every single week we let $10 supporters on Patreon vote to choose which new show we create or continue, and the impossible has happened. Thirst Council lost the poll, and what it lost to is Game Query, which is an old podcast that Leo Vader, Haley McLean, Blake Hester, and AJ Mosier started. They were Game Informer interns together back in 2016, I think, and then they started this Game Query podcast. It's been dormant for a long time, but the revival won the poll, and as Blake is about to explain to you, content warning, everybody. If you're used to some bleeps and bloops here for min-max content and a general aura of positivity, that's about to be thrown out the window, so viewer discretion advised. It's not going to be some graphic snuff film, but here you go, everybody. Game query. Right. Folks at home that might be tuning in, this is going to be a little bit different of a broadcast than you're familiar with on MinMax. Uh, I am legally obligated to give a content warning. This is not the squeaky clean production you have come to expect from MinMax with two ends. This, in fact, is an entirely different thing. A reunion of sorts and a bloodletting of other sorts. We Game Query is back. We're back for blood. And without further ado, what's up, nerds? Welcome <laughs> to Game Query. I am your illustrious host with the most, Blake Hester. Joining me as fucking always, we're allowed to cuss now. Refer back to the content warning, folks at home. We're we fucking disclaim. cussing up a goddamn storm tonight. <laughs> Joining me, as always, is my usual cast of characters, clowns, and idiots, such as the love of my life, my better half, and a man sitting not five feet from me right now. AJ, not the Michigan, not the Brooklyn, but the Queens Militia Moser. AJ, brother, how are we doing? Ah, Blake, it's been so long since I've talked to you. It's wonderful to see you again here, brother. I hope everything's been well. I hope That's you've been, uh, whoever you're living with these days, you're not stinking up the bathroom with your doo-doo ass and dropping some nuclear level shits in there. <laughs> Here's the thing about me and AJ. We're <laughs> remarkably close people. And before we even begin our days, we do have debriefs on the shits we take in our apartment. Mm. And it's some, of our days, some of our days begin earlier than others. There's an app <laughs> for that. <laughs> Yeah, AJ wakes up crazy yeah. early. I'm unemployed. I've, been, I've taken three to four shits by the time Blake Hester wakes up. <laughs> there uh, is an app. You can track your cycles now and stuff. It's cool. Also, you have cycles. also joining me, the man you love to hate. Leo Vader is here. Leo! <laughs> Sorry. God. How you doing, brother? That's wow, right. it's good to be querying again. Game yeah. style. How's it Happy feel? to be here. Like a glove, like an old crusty glove slid right back on the old five fingers. Sure. Uh, for old time's sake, how about you do a quick impression for us? Uh, and I'm thinking Crash Bandicoot riding a Sibian. <laughs> okay. <What is> a <laughs> uh, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, uh, uh, Sibian, commercial, Sibian. commercial Crash Bandicoot mascot? Or character from oh, the games or remake? Sure. The mascot for sure, right? No, no, no. The games, the games, the games. Writing Sibian. So from the games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your final forget, answer? Yeah, forget the commercial thing, is it? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you could tell that wasn't coming all the way through, but it you was really might cut out the best parts. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that sounded great, but Discord was not having it. And then finally, yeah. not built for it. last but certainly not least, Haley, the Canadian Lou McLean is here. Haley, before you tell me anything else, will you please fucking tell me, are you a goddamn lawyer yet? For like two years, hell yeah. Let's go! Let's go, <laughs> finally. Jesus finally. Christ. What were, what were you doing that whole time? Why'd it take so damn long? Taking shits and taking notes. Taking shits and taking notes? Yeah, y'all were talking about that. I can't. That's okay to talk about that. Yeah. I can't. Sexist. Now I realize why I left this damn show. I can't talk about shits uh, on here. Like, I really want to. Wow. Wow. Well, That's okay. Though. All right. Glad to be back. So, <laughs> folks at home, we gave a little bit of a disclaimer up front. But for those who don't know, this is Game Query. We're a former podcast made up of but made up by the smartest minds in games. Uh, we unfortunately went away when one of us decided he wanted to have a nice job at Epic Games. He left that job, 
So we can come back. Ben Hansen has brought us on board to do one more round of queries. The way it works is we have all brought a query to this table. You remember that? Remember that from that other podcast? You bang right. on the table, this table, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, we've all brought a query to the table. We're all going to debate it. We're going to goof. We're going to gaff about it. We're going to say some things that would probably d- endanger our careers if most of us were employed at the present moment. And then we're going to vote on it at the end through a series of uh, easily easy to follow rules that we all know and understand. And then we'll award a point, which will go on the leaderboard. I would like to go first because I had cancer. Mm, still milking that. that man. That's right. That's right. Okay, so here's the thing, folks. Game Query officially ended in 2021. Wild. And we we had a lot of great snipes from 2017 to 2021. We held a lot of people accountable. We put a lot of feet to the fire. We punched up, we punched down, we punched all around. <laughs> However, I would say, in the time since Game Query has ended, the game industry has hit unprecedented levels of fucking dumb as shit. Yeah. It got I mean, dumb as soon as we stopped talking. Did y'all notice that? Exactly. 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 Very strong what was that case? about? Exactly. So we, we missed so many snipes. We missed the chance to dunk on so many things. So my query today is in the time since Game Query has ended, what was the dumbest thing the game industry tried to pull off? Now, lest I remind you, needn't you forget, mm. we stopped this show before NFTs took off. So that's, <laughs> that's about the beginning of time uh, we're looking at here, from yeah. NFTs to March 5th, 2024. To NFTs. Chad is NFTs. asking who is below Game Query. How dare you? How Don't dare you with it. that question? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's the insinuation Everyone there's no one. Chat, chat, chat. This is not your query, okay? Yeah. It's my query. So folks at home, or f- f- folks at the show, what's the dumbest thing that happened? Hmm. Hmm. It's a thinker. I, I often reflect on if this show was around during the Hogwarts Legacy fiasco, how oh, many sure. oh nuclear level blasts you would have been able to get off. Because unfortunately, Blake and I talk about this a lot, as with many things. There was, there was only one person who had the correct opinion on that game, and it was me. And I'm not right. going to tell you what it was, but uh, everyone was wrong except for me. About that yeah, I remember game. that. That's there right. was a really divisive issue unless you heard AJ's take That's on correct. it. And then it was like, here was, here, was the, here was the thing I did not understand about Hogwarts Legacy. Obviously, it's been stay fuck JK Rowling. Like, we don't fuck with turfs. We don't fuck with any kind of bigotry here. Fuck yeah. Right. The British. Like... <laughs> But, like, how the fuck are you going to go to bat for the most mid-looking game I've ever seen? Oh, like, it's not like, it's not like you were like, oh, I want to play the game because it looks great. It's like, you're really just risking it all to play what looks like a fucking 6 out of 10. It's not worth it, guys. You can play Killer7 at any point. You can play any other game. They would love Killer7. Dead or Alive Extreme? I could have played that. You could have played. Yeah, that's the thing I've been saying. Like, you wanted to play Hogwarts Legacy when you could have played Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball at any point in your life. Like, no it's tits not ass worth in Hogwarts it. Legacy. No tits or ass in Hogwarts Legacy. So right? Less down. than thirty-five pounds. <laughs> Is that what turf stands for? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> just wondered. She had just wondered. Yeah. She uh. just <laughs> AJ, that's a good one. That's a good one. Is that your answer? I mean, that's the thing. It's certainly not the worst thing that's happened in the gaming industry since then, but that's maybe the most that I've ever been like, damn, if we had this show, I would have pages of notes. I would have a, right. a dossier of names to check back in on and say, what's going on with it? Why were you posting this kind of stuff? Things you were saying, what's going on here? Is this a safe place? Can I ask a question to the group? I don't think so, but yes. Mm. Did any of us actually play the game to check it out on its own merits? No. Not me. No, me neither. No. Uh, uh, I watched that video of the dude Blake doing Blake totally like a played ball. it. Blake totally I didn't play played it. it. I didn't play it. He was it. Blake in the room. Blake I, don't, it. I did not play it, dude. Blake I don't got fuck all with the, the broom no. unlocks or whatever the fuck. No. <laughs> 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 he got every plant. There's an apple in the garden room. He got the special hippogriff mount. Yeah, you got the deluxe edition. I don't fuck with Harry Potter because as a jock, lest I remind you, Jock's rule, nerd's rule. I don't fuck with that that wizard shit. That's not for me. 
<laughs> Haley, what's the dumbest thing that happened in the last few years? Man, I feel like we really could have dunked on Overwatch 2. Oh, man. Yeah. We would have really yeah. dunked on that. Because, like, Paladins went away. We were such Paladin stands. But then that goes away. and Or Battleborn. That was the one. Yeah, Battleborn. But then Overwatch 2 comes out and just sucks. We would have sniped that to the core. Yeah, we were a pro Overwatch podcast, even though I've never played that game. Like, I we still all, I play know. Overwatch too, so I could have had the inside scoop on how dog shit it is. Like I know this game's trash, and I still play it every night. So you guys could have you guys could have ribbed me there. We could have had a little yeah. <laughs> Haley idiot kind of thing going, and it could have <laughs> could have been good. I would not. We would have we would have done a bit about Pendles being in the game, and then eventually you all would have had to tell me <laughs> Pendles was from Battleborn. That's right. <laughs> a <laughs> classic Somebody mistake. Said. They should have called it Overwatch Poo. That would have been me. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh, that would have crushed. We would have made shirts of that. Yeah, yeah, that probably would have been the episode title. There was we that brought- moment in the game where uh, in-game keychain costs more than the real life keychain. We would have obliterated that. We would have. Mm. Oh, they would have been stuck in the can fire. Get away with that. True. Because those have magical powers. The only I- case. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's some recency bias. But like AI, yeah. I think we would have we would have done a full AI episode. I think we would have like just shoved a bunch of game queries into into its Chat learning. GPT. I feel like we actually software. maybe might have done one of those where we did. We like did, a, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was like early AI. AI is like in some ways AI is the most indicative thing of where the game industry is right now, right? Like. No one is looking to AI to be like, this is a helpful tool or this is a fun toy to play with. It's always a rush to see how can we replace people and get them out of jobs. And it's like, what says more to, about the current game industry than AI in this current moment? It's like, True. Well, you know, what if uh, what if people didn't make games anymore? Sorry, Chris Bratt. People don't make games anymore. <laughs> it's all just the shittiest <laughs> idiot people made games. you've ever seen. Oh, Chris Pratt <laughs> being, in Mar- being the voice of Mario, we would have... I'll fuck that up too. That would have been good. Yeah, I said Chris Pratt, but I get your joke for it sure. It still can, is a dot connect. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, a dot connect. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. You're welcome. I wanted to say for this haptic triggers on PS5, but was that, were we still around for that? Were we still, still around? around? I think we got yeah. PS5. Okay. So, no, 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 no. I don't think so. The PS5 came out when we were still. We were still goofing. Didn't the PS5 come out in late 2020? Yeah. It might have been after I left. Oh, yeah, you died. Leo died. Yeah. Oh. He left this mortal yeah. coil. That's right. Ghost of um, Leo. What's your beef we with that? We would have watched the Chad Warden video a couple of times and said Dude. more like haptic trigger showed up your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> haptic trigger, I barely know her. That's what we would have said. Yeah, yeah. That's what we would have said. For sure, that would have come up. We would have an yeah. episode titled Haptic Trigger Warning, for sure. Oh, yeah. Crater no, says no, the no. vibration features came up in a query once. It was deaf out. When we definitely knew about the haptic okay, good. feedback. Okay. Leo, what's your beef with haptic feedback? Yeah, Leo, what the hell? You know, I mean, it's not the worst thing, but it feels like something we would have made fun of, you know? It's like, it's all for this sure. well, $90 controller, so you can feel like your trigger had sprites yeah. built on it, you know? Yeah, kind of like, thing. so you can it's, feel like you're actually shooting someone. You crush it a caterpillar yeah. with your thumb or some shit. Yeah. Do we? Right. Did we ever talk about like with VR and haptics? It's just a rush to like give you the actual sensation of murdering someone. <laughs> like that's the soul. That's the sum game of the get. Like, well, how many hours does Leo have in Hitman VR? He's probably murdered more virtual men with his own two hands than any of us combined. Yeah, Leo. Do their screams keep you up at night? Uh, when I would grab them with the Garrett wire, I knew watch that's the life leave their body and then watch their I body launch 30 feet into the air and ragdoll <laughs> over the edge. I need this an Astro Bot. I don't what y'all are talking about. Remember an Astro Bot when it felt like you were unzipping a zipper in your yeah. controller? Yeah. That was so cool. That was awesome. never Maybe haptic like feedback is cool. Haptic yeah, feedback. that is awesome to be able to unzip a zipper. I wish you could do that in other <laughs> situations. Yeah, video games offer escapism and we have like, the fantasy realm, pants. like unzipping things. <laughs> unzipping is like it's it's a it's kind of that power fantasy of like I can just unzip this like whenever right. I want and I'm not getting <laughs> caught and nothing. Yeah, it's just working. I can imagine what it's like Get to walk caught. around with unsoiled trousers. They're right. dry. They smell all right. 
people yes, are the AI, the, having the AI, the AI smell sensor, the, which oh, I just yeah. got, having that set to no scent is like that's the fantasy, you know? Mm, yeah, and not having it set on piss at all times. Yeah, <laughs> right. I think what a lot of people don't know because I would assume most people watching have never met Leo in person, but he does just smell like feces at all times. He's got a big like, diaper. Um, I mm-hmm. like how you chose feces as the word. Like, you could have said shit, but feces sounds medical and way worse. I'm getting a little older. I'm classing it up. You're I turned 30. Up. I turned wow. 30 two days ago, so yeah. Wait, which one of us are 30? I'm 30 now. Me, I'm just 30. me and Blake? Oh, you're you're 32, Leo? Not AJ? A little 20-something AJ. Yeah, he's a little I'm about to be 29. Wow. wow. That's a good year. That's going yeah. to look good on you, AJ. That's going to be gonna your be year. I think so, and then everything is going to hit me when I turn 30. Uh huh. Yep. Let me tell you, when I turned thirty, it was terrible. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> I was I'm there. thirty, flirty, and thriving. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm uh, thirty well, and dirty and dead. Thirty, thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Applebee's for my thirtieth birthday, and let me tell you, that shit destroyed me. You ever the just waitress eat? thought I was really cool? The waitress <laughs> literally made fun of AJ to a to a degree where I was like, should we complain? Yeah, like, she work here. <laughs> she, she actually like, she left it. the table, came back, and was like, "I just wanted to let you know that you're a stupid piece of shit." And fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> if I wasn't clear. All right. So, um, what's the dumbest thing that happened? I wagered it was AI. AJ said Hogwarts Legacy. Haley said Overwatch Two, and Leo said Haptics. I said something that was didn't come out. Does uh, does the does our beautiful chat have any suggestions for things we might have missed? Know. Have we ever, besides our rare one-off episodes, we never recorded live, eh? Why didn't we? We did a couple. Because we couldn't publish most of the shit we said publicly. But then we we posted it on SoundCloud. So, like, what's the difference? Somebody was edited, chopping those things up. (laughs) Yeah, we chopped them up. Patreon, you got the uncut stuff. And then here's a dirty secret. Even on Patreon, some things weren't published. There were some things that were Like my home address. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> or, there was always that Leo's cool message address. at the end of an episode, like, like, can you cut this? Can you cut yep. this? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's true. You know what was really popular, right, when we ended the show was Belle Delphine. I remember we talked about her a lot. I remember Jack we watched Water. 35 minutes of an episode because we yeah. talked about Belle Delphine too much. What happened to Belle Delphine? Wait, hold on. Let me see. You don't. You don't I don't think you want to know. Let me see what Belle Delphine I think she's the first OnlyFans billionaire. She actually Delphine. completed her transformation, and now she's Belle Dolphin. She's you know an aquatic that? creature. <laughs> she has bottom, she's... bottom half dolphin. Yeah, she's she in Final she... Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's the worst Did half y'all... to be bottom. Damn it. Did you all, Did you all know she's South African? I know yeah. she sold bath yeah. water. That's about the most I learned and d- delved into that. You if you knew spot. anything about the world, Blake, you know Belle Dolphin is an Afrikaans name. <laughs> You would be shocked how long Belle Delphine's Wikipedia page is. <laughs> She's done a lot. Belle Delphine actually could it's be a character from Dune. What sections are we rocking on that Wikipedia page, Blake? Controversy? What? Is there a controversy uh, section? It's honestly so long that I immediately decided not to read it. Rivalry with Game Query? <laughs> the longest page in <laughs> <Yeah>. Game Query? <laughs> um, media reception and public image. Surrealist eroticism of content. Hmm. Okay, so now she's really stealing our thing. Yeah, 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 yeah that, was, video. that was kind of us. <laughs> That's messed uh, up. Leo liked that one. That was good. Louis Thoreau <laughs> asked Belle Del- Delphine if she thinks he's a simp. So there you go. Thank you, Louis Thoreau. Not um, weirder in the chat says Bile Delfino. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Rich Bad at Game says she's still going strong. How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> No one's saying this chat. Turn Shots the lamp. To- turn the light around. Shouts out to Belle Delphine, man. Uh, friend of the show. Um, I'm voting for myself. <laughs> classic. Absolute yeah. classic. I, don't, I, I just, I think my answer was the best one. So I'm voting for AI. I'm going to vote for Hogwarts hey, Legacy. I don't know who else AJ. to vote for. I'll vote for okay. Blake. Okay. Okay. That's two for Blake. Blake, this AJ. is a mistake you always make, which is... Uh, voting for yourself before the other votes get in, because then I want to vote for someone else out of spite, no matter what your answer was. Yeah, like we, even right the then, I, the go for it. Go I was for thinking it. the I'm same bo- thing. Fucking AJ, go for it. AJ, Hogwarts Legacy. All right, that's a tie then. That's a tie. Blake and AJ. We're let's let's remind vote. ourselves that these for votes sure don't matter. Way. We always forget that. <laughs> let's remind ourselves when we're picking on Blake 
that he was laid off a week ago and he did have cancer. <laughs> I wish we had an odd number of people on this show. That was the biggest. <laughs> um, should we take listener queries if people have them? Hell yeah. All right, Only good yeah. ones. Don't put any stupid shit in there. Jill saying I vote for everyone but Blake. That's not how the rules of the show go. That is how the rules of the show go. Uh, <laughs> Haley, why don't you go next? Sure. So when we started this, I think I was 23. And then, wow. I know, right? What the hell? My, Michael Jordan. Oh, you can't see me because uh, in Discord my camera's off. I just did a, a basketball swoop motion. Nice. <laughs> exactly, oh. AJ. Exactly yeah. what I just yeah. did. We call it an alley-oop in the biz. A little Jim, alley-oop. Part one. Alley-oop Jim Jones balling. That's right. If we could go back in time and, and stop ourselves <laughs> or yell something to our little baby selves during the first episode of Game Query, what would you scream at yourself if you had five seconds before the time loop ripped you back to the future? Okay. Invest in NVIDIA. <laughs> Millions of dollars. Everything you have. All of it taken. You'll never have to work a day in your fucking life. Cool. Smart. Bitcoin will go away. Then it'll come back. Then it'll go away again. It'll come back. NVIDIA is forever, though. That's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. That's, that's a good, good one. Any reason why? It's like the most valuable stock in the world right now. You don't know what I, you know I don't fuck with that shit, but when I see damn video game stuff on the top of the damn Wall Street, because I work on Wall Street now for right. the folks at home, I go and I check the board every day, and I do everything they do in Wolf of Wall Street, because I watch that movie a lot, and I agree with everything that happens. That's the point of the film. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, when he uh, the things that I take away from that movie are the part where Matthew McConaughey is like, I want a martini every seven minutes, and I jack off three to four times a day. I'm like, he's right. Uh-huh. That's cool. And I respect him. Um, Good. I've been buying these damn graphics cards. I should have been buying the damn graphics card stock. I'd be able to buy 10,000 graphics cards. You wouldn't have a roommate either. I wouldn't need a roommate. I could get rid of cloud also. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) Okay. You really, uh, you masturbate three to four times a day? A rookie number has got to pump those up. 13 to 14. So you shit four times before Blake even wakes up and then you (laughs) masturbate three to four times a day on top of that. I shit out the front. Party in the back. Yeah. What? Interesting. I, I shut out the front. Watch Wolf of Wall Street again. Watch Wolf of Wall Street again. <laughs> Clearly, it's been too long. Yeah. Okay. Waste yeah. time to sit down. You can focus your mental energy. This you is are, classic game query. It Chad is pointing out you're still in your 20s. You got some learning to do, AJ. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Chad, for keeping me honest. Um, Leo, what would you do? Um, I would tell myself to not quit game query. Wow. I'd lay out like, wow. I would lay out like, here's the other stuff you're going to do. You're working at Game Informer. You're doing a, your own personal videos where you can do whatever you want. You're working at MinMax. You're helping build this like unique kind of cooperative of like great like-minded people. Yeah. And it's not going to fill that hole. You think it's going to fill that game query sized hole. In you. Wow. Is wow. This true? Is this true? Is this a bit or is this true? <laughs> is this a bit or is this true? Um, what's what is truth? Right. <laughs> you know, I would have told the game industry the same thing. You're gonna miss yeah. this. You didn't know yeah. how, how good you had it. Yeah, I think if I could go back, 2017, the Halcyon days, I would tell myself, "Hey, bro." Don't get cancer twice. <laughs> just don't do that. I had you a can, feeling you, you might Blake, use that for that. You yeah. can tell Blake just turned 30. He's got mortality on the mind. <laughs> and I'm not say, talking the Sam Barlow game. Yeah, I just say, look, <laughs> you might be thinking about growing a little tumor on your ball down there. Maybe don't, bro. Maybe don't. Maybe they're don't. Plenty, they're plenty big. <laughs> they're As ginormous. It. They're ginormous. And everyone knows it. They love them. They love seeing him whip it around there. You like, don't okay, need time to Blake's nut mention. I had 20 minutes. <laughs> you don't need a third one down there. And, you know, when a younger version of myself thought, what if I just grew a third third little guy down there? And it wasn't worth it, to be honest with you. It's not worth it. So if you went back in time, you'd do one last cup, maybe? Then go back to the future? One last cup? Yeah. One last cup of your, your past self's balls. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> I would have held them. I would have held them. I'd have had to hold them like this because they were so big and grand. Now I hold them like this because there's only one. But I held them and I said, "This is good enough." 
<laughs> be happy with what you have, Blake. Two. You don't need any more than that. You need not. You are blessed with so many things. <laughs> your cup overrunneth. <laughs> your cup overrunneth with your big old nuts. Don't grow a tumor on your nut. Because because you're going to lose one one day. And I've... Call me call me Scott. Call me Stone Temple Pilots the way I'm half the man I used to be. Right. So it's kind of like you, you counted your chickens before they hatched back then. Yep. Call, yeah, counted I'm your really eggs before they really hatched. Busted. Counted my eggs before they hatched. And, you know, I mean, that's been my recommendation ever, to everyone. If you can help it, I'd, I'd, I'd pass on cancer. Well, and get it. External heart, thanks for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big Ted Lasso style whiteboard right on the other side of my screen. It says, no cancer. Don't yeah, do it. Yeah. Not even once. Um, Haley, <laughs> if you can go back that. in time, if you can go back in time, what would you do different? This is corny, but I would say, don't don't change a thing, Haley. Keep this was great. You'll wow. miss it. Wow. I'd maybe say I I'd maybe say break up with your current boyfriend. It doesn't go anywhere. Maybe that's what I'd say. And then uh, the rest keep on. But you're still dating on. him. No, I was <laughs> I was saying <laughs> exactly. I'm tired of a jaw. Yeah. No, it was the one before that. I had a whole different boyfriend when we started this. My high school sweetie. That's right. Wow. Yeah. It went big fat nowhere. See, uh, so I would say in, cut that off sooner. <laughs> and so in 2024, you went on a, a show going to be broadcast to thousands and thousands around the world and dunked on this poor sucker. He's not watching. <laughs> See ya. Uh, it looked like Mario 3, 3 <laughs> Super Slammers in this bitch. If he's watching, wow. move on, bro. Why are you watching me still? He <laughs> broke up years ago. What the hell are you watching this for? Also, we're decently far in, so you've been wa- maybe peek in to see what I look like and move on. You're still watching? Move on, weirdo. Well, maybe maybe he peeked in. He's like, hey, the show. Well, it's, then he can be a you He can be a fan. He knew who you guys were. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Great. You'll miss. He misses you. I think he probably misses y'all more than me. Tell him to call me. My number is five zero two. I do still hang out with him, Leo. I don't know if that makes it awkward. I was gonna say. I think he's the biggest Leo Vader fan. That's why he's watching. Is, uh, he does. He, yeah, he's, he's your biggest Patreon supporter. Oh, embarrassing. He's the only one in the bathwater tier on Leo's Patreon. <laughs> it's so exclusive that it's not even advertised. That he just. I have asks. a. I have a yeah. pipe going from my house. <laughs> <laughs> I will subvert uh, the public works project and set up a direct <laughs> line from my bathtub into your mouth. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, one yuck. of one. That's why I broke up with him. He wouldn't stop paying Leo <laughs> for his bath water. I was getting tired of it. <laughs> come, come on, seriously. What's in that water bottle? Come on. What do you got there? Why is there flakes of skin in there? What are you doing? <laughs> why is it a little yellow? Uh. <laughs> hey, how dare you? Well, look, he doesn't... Yeah, right. uh, he, he doesn't unzip his pants during the day. He's got to let it go at some point. Might as well up. He gets yeah. in the tub with his jeans on. Who knows what goes in there? Ooh, what jeans videos? We would have been watching those in here. <laughs> Yuck. Are those, are those a thing? Listen, I yeah, am not YouTube. one to kink shame, but wet. if you're into wet jean content, I don't get it. I hate it. Wet jeans is the worst feeling thing on planet Earth. Wet jeans is legal. There was Leo, there was, no one said it was legal to have wet <laughs> jeans. Very defensive right away when wet jeans comes up. Just going to point that out with Leo. There's certainly, Leo. There's certainly a dark period of the show where we were watching videos live that I look back upon. I'm not proud of, but I feel more worldly because of it. Do you all I, feel the same? Remember the E-Fucked Owl? Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's still, yeah. He's still pinned in this chat. Shouts out to the E Fucked Al. Yeah, shouts out, shouts out. The official podcast at efuck.com. That was the one thing I wasn't gonna say today, but Haley got it out of me. Just the owl. Um, we don't gotta be sponsored by them and shit. I just remember the owl. <laughs> well, actually, uh they did hit me up and asked if they could uh run a new month long sponsorship. So. Our, uh, our pinned messages are all our various email and passwords, the E fucked owl, and then my old address. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny about St. Mark's Avenue, floor two in Brooklyn, New York. I used to live there. I don't anymore. Don't send anything there. <laughs> so we can't stop you. Dox a random person in New York. Uh, I guess a nice building in New York. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I could nice just place. say one, two, three, <laughs> South Street, one Halifax. <laughs> Who cares?
Uh, Crater Gaming just gifted a sub to E fucked. How is that possible? <laughs> Crater, why did you do that? <laughs> what is this channel? Oh my god. Crater, wow, how is do that you, official? How do you do Zero that? Zero followers, no stream schedule. Wow, shouts out to E fucked, baby. Do you guys think that That's if they out. made a movie about E fucked that Chris Pratt would voice the owl? <laughs> <laughs> You know what the unfortunate thing is? Is there's probably someone watching right now that's never mind. Um, that's going to e fucked. I don't yeah, see that they really shouldn't. Like, don't. It's do not it. fucked. F -U -C -K -E don't do it. It's f u k t. If you were trying, if you didn't know what we were talking about, e, yeah, that's where you shouldn't go. That's where you yeah. should not go. At what point do you think Ben Hansen? I was gonna say, don't tell us really, Ben Hansen sent you. At what point do you think he regretted letting us do this? Uh, probably when you said Crash Bandicoot riding a Sibian twenty <laughs> seconds in. <laughs> 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 he told me we could say anything. Um, okay. So Haley asked if we could go back in time and tell ourselves one thing, what would it be? Haley said, aside from breaking up with her boyfriend, who's Leo's biggest fan. Just to save time. Sorry, Carl. The, yeah, stay the same. Stay the same. <laughs> Carl. I picked up with him day one. Don't make Carl. fun of his name. <laughs> AJ quite practically said he would invest in NVIDIA. Leo. with new mic. Right. Uh, you can buy Jacob a new mic. That's, right. <laughs> That's actually the problem. Uh, I think it's Leo's, a cable. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Leo you said. Want to come in here? <laughs> no, it's okay. Leo said he wouldn't quit Game Query, but I put in parentheses probably a bit. And then I said, "Uh, don't get cancer. Your nuts are good enough as they are." So, what was our, what was our favorite answer? Mm, you missing your balls. Yeah, definitely me missing my balls. Definitely you missing yeah. your balls. But I never had that origin story on how that happened, so yeah, that was interesting. Okay. Insight. Yeah, sure, so that's two votes for me. I'm going to vote for Leo, even though I think it's probably a bit. It did warm my heart briefly, so I'm going to vote for Leo. Thanks. And it let it be known. Tie round two, because I'm also voting for Leo. <gasps> wow. wow. There we go. I could have convinced Tim Sweeney to keep the show going. He's into some um, stupid things. Friend of the show, Tim Sweeney. Shout That's out. Right. Um, Only Blake and I never quit game query. Shout out, Blake. That's right. The lifers <laughs> right here. For the life. With me, so I think we know who the heart of the show was. That's true. <laughs> I did I did nuke it from the... You know what's crazy is I still I occasionally... Like, someone will join the Discord or tweet at me about getting the archive of the episodes. I'm like, how are you even? How do you know? I I I've sent a couple people to our Discord to get yeah. the apps, yeah. <laughs> it's wild, so shout out. Um, can one of you all find some listener questions while I open my bottle? Of I, water? I saw one up top. Let me find it. Uh, da, 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 da. Thanks, Bob Buell, for gifting five subs as well. Shout outs to Bobbert Buell. Bobbert. 99 questions and a Bob ain't one. Where did it go? I saw one. It said query, and then it it was nicely labeled and everything. Bob Buell himself said query, how dare you? <laughs> Come on, man. Be dare. Okay, query, here we go. This is from Crater. Is Ben internally exploding from having this on Min Max, or is he just glad this isn't Thirst Council? Good question. Yeah. I think it's it's a real deal with the devil situation to get for, Thirst Council. Let him. me read Hansen's pitch for Thirst Council this week so we can see how bad he didn't want it to win. Okay. <laughs> let me pull it up here. It's always like a paragraph of text about like, here's the fun show we could do. Thirst Council, episode four. Haley expands the Thirst Council by potentially swapping out some folks and continuing to place the community's video game crushes on a tier list. How high does uh, how high is Mewtwo ranking on that for now? Uh, he Didn't hasn't been ranked. Wow. Well, I know, and you know what? I had to keep. Everyone was like, "Oh my God, Haley has crush on Mewtwo!" <laughs> da, da, da. I said that years ago on Game Query, yeah. and no one said a peep. Yep, yeah. in confidence. Um, in remember confidence. When ranked, remember when we actually ranked women on one of our streams? We made a bracket of hottest <laughs> video game chicks. But I was there, was so it was fine. Last, yeah, a lot of them was, were on there twice. That was last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope Ben isn't upset. Here's the thing. Ben knew what Game Query was. He wasn't just like, oh, y'all used to have podcasts. Like, he knows what the show was. He was on. He knows he what was he on it. it. Yeah, he knows what he signed up for. So I feel like if he's shocked, then 
that's out of our hands. But we love Ben for letting us do this. I was thrilled when he texted me last night and asked. I was for sure. So I'm think- sure he's he's glad he reminded us about the disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I did text him this morning to be like, so are we not allowed to cuss? And he was like, no, nah, just go for it. Wow. So, what what could we have said for the uh, e fricked owl? Or is that too? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dry jeans. Yeah, dry jeans. <laughs> Not about regular jeans. Unshitted um, jeans. <laughs> do we have any other listener queries? You can just drop those in the chat, and we'll get to them probably. Bob Valley backwards Firestorm says JRPG derogatory. <laughs> what? I I so I'm told. So I'm just going to assume yes, but I don't know. I feel like here's. Can I propose a uh, a solution to this problem? The J doesn't stand for Japanese anymore. Let's still call those games JRPGs. Because you say JRPG, everybody knows what you're talking about. J stands for something different now. Problem solved. Josh's r- RPGs. Josh's role-playing games. Josh's. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see here. Any I more? bet we do all know a guy named Josh who likes those. <clears throat> yeah. Heck. Huh. Yeah, Josh... Oh. No. Mally says jazzy RPGs. Woo, jazzy. Oh, Those, this the is, music could be good. Yeah. Here's 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 a really good one. Um, Rich Bad at Games says, Query, any tips for avoiding cancer for Leo? <laughs> so that's a question for Leo. I don't know, but if oh. he's a real friend, he'd donate his ball to you. Yeah, what the fuck, Leo? You want it on weekends? <laughs> yeah, that, that's when <laughs> I need it most. That's when that's I need it most. Lot. That seems fair. Leo, do an impression of me learning I had cancer. Oh my god. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clear the throat. What what the hell? <laughs> They're gonna cut out my vocal cords and make me sound like Hank Hill. There you go. There the, you way, go. the way you probably muttered that <laughs> to your breath. <laughs> no. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Is that what I sound like to you? Yeah, right? Oh, all right. Yeah, you have a crazy southern drawl. Do you not hear it? (laughs) Your mic is fully in a tornado now. I was going to say, through layers of static popping, that is what you sound like. I don't know what to tell you. I can't fix the mic. It's fucking broken. It sounds good. It sounds good there. Uh, Okay, just be aggressive with it. Be Uh, be aggressive. Oh, okay. So, uh, if you Yo! Talk, Blake, can you do an impression of me finding out I'm a lawyer? Y'all let anyone in here, Jesus Christ! That's it. That sounds just like me. Um, AJ, you do an impression of something. I do. You do an impression of anything, and we'll guess what it is. Yeah. Ooh. Impression of anything. Hmm. Anyone, anything, any situation. Critter says, historically, AJ's mic should be broken or bad. That's yeah, right. Yeah. True. Changing it up. Oh, oh. Well, I got my impression right here. Uh, AJ sounds a little too loud. Could somebody tell him to turn his microphone down? It's my impression of the game query audience. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, I uh, guess who's here? The bum, game query audience bum, himself. Bum, We're going to uh, We're gonna have to change around the windows, but we have a special guest. You know him. You love him. Here he is. Eventually. Camera's loading. He's on his way, guys. I was almost going to do an impression of him, but then I was the, like, if he's not here, that'd be mean. I'm the next, surprise. Loading. A pinch hitter for game query. Come on. Any day Come now. On. We're going to kick you off of the stream if you don't hurry the hell up. Hit it. God damn it. <laughs> Who's that? Surprise, everyone! <laughs> Who's that? Jacob Keller, what are you doing? Hey. Uh, yippee! Wow. Wow. Jacob, okay. how the f- Hold how on. The f- I'm... Okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> um, hey, Jacob. Thanks, first off, thanks for joining us. Um, uh, you're on MinMax all the time. But I feel like I should let you know the rules are a little different here. We're allowed to cuss as much as we want and say whatever we want. So you want to just... Oh, um, wow. Would, do you want to just come out swinging? Just maybe uh, utter come. some... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I yeah, just, that's really I good. I do want to say I was really touched uh, listening earlier when Leo was talking about uh, filling game queries holes or game query filling his holes or something. <laughs> I, I found it very moving. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's probably a pit though. That's kind of the eroticism we can do yeah. on this show. It's kind of a sexy show. Get away um, with murder how you doing? Here. How you doing, Jacob? What have you been up to for the last few years? Oh, I mean, I'm keeping pretty low profile. Game Query really made me need to like go underground because if anyone mm-hmm. like searched my name and Game Query, they would hear some episodes. They probably need to like shut down my YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. We. we hey. There's still time. We might still get you shut down. Yeah, I mean, but like the good news is I have I've been really charitable. For instance, I'm like buying really expensive mics and sending them to my friend who I think <laughs> takes really good care of them. <laughs> Take great care of it. And I'll have you know, I called someone an expert in the audio field. And based on what they told me, it was completely out of my hands. But we'll talk about it later. There, <laughs> there was nothing I did that messed it up but based on our prognosis yeah i'm sure you told that story very authentically <laughs> i i have watched blake refuse to get a microphone arm and just hold the fucking <laughs> sm7b the microphone that michael jackson recorded thriller on in his not hands and just throwing it around not the same microphone michael jackson did not use this one i wouldn't touch it if michael jackson used it <laughs> no that's that's who i bought it from actually it was like an estate sale thing well now oh, i don't wow. care that it's haunted <laughs> that's what it is well, no, SM7Bs I mean, are like famously durable mics. It's this is not my fault. Something else happened. That makes it your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if anything, famously durable how did you mic do that? that just spontaneously exploded <laughs> while Blake was using it. The are surprisingly sturdy cars. <laughs> I rolled it down a hill and it fucking broke. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, what I've left out of this story is, you know, AJ. I love him so much, and I have trouble saying no to him. And one of his favorite pastimes is throwing that mic down the hallway. And I just, I, I don't want to say no, because he loves it so much. It's Cloud's favorite toy. He likes to catch it like a boomerang and run it back. <laughs> um, okay, try, AJ. Try singing Thriller into it and see if it fixes it. Yeah. And sing it really good in key. Let's go Thriller. Thriller. Something's in the my air tonight. We're zombies. This music video is directed by Martin Scorsese. Thriller. Is it really? The way no, the wait, mic sounds great. Like bad. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Um, AJ, it's <laughs> your turn. Ask a queer. <sighs> okay. Um, well, since we're all in a retrospective mood, and since Game <clears throat> Query was and remains a show about finding answers, I wanted to po- pose it, the query, of what is gaming's biggest unsolved mystery? You've heard about the fucking E.T. Graveyard And some nerd made a video about some Shadow of the Colossus bullshit. But there's a lot of things deeper that we can dig in and find. The people out there demand answers. So gaming's biggest unsolved mystery, the question that we as gamers, as fans, as players, deserve the answers to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right. I I, I think I have an idea. Um, There's a kind of a it's a long road down this one. So stay with me. But what if if Mario ate a mushroom (laughs) and got (laughs) hot? Jacob took my answer. Damn. <laughs> that was going to be actually, what if, because we've asked this so many times, what if Mario ate mushroom, did not get high? Whoa. What if he got duds? Whoa. What would happen? Isn't um, it crazy? Okay, also talking about the lathe of heaven that Game Query was, isn't it insane that they made a video game about Mario eating mushrooms and getting yes. high? <laughs> it is. My, uh, my girlfriend's father called her uh, the other week saying, hey, big news, I saw the Mario movie, and then proceeded to ask, isn't it kind of crazy that Mario eats a mushroom and got high? And he was on speakerphone, and I screamed game query from the other room. (laughs) Hey, our influence knows no bounds. Um, This is great. I'm sure her dad would love the show. I I think he would. (laughs) He's a freak. Let's get him on. Shout out, friend of the show. Um... Man, gaming's biggest unsolved mystery. Wow. Mm. Great question. Great question. Great question. You know, there's a lot of good ones. I like all the like gaming creepy pastas, like what is it, been drowned or whatever, and like all the, the haunted games. But like when I think about the things in video games I've always wanted answer to, but things have always come up inconclusive. It's always been who's fucking? <laughs> That's a callback to episode one. Yeah. Who's fucking? Yeah. Who's fucking? 
I'm always wondering who's fucking. A lot of things happen behind the scenes at some of your favorite gaming studios when the lights go down. <laughs> the animators get the, crazy. The mocap suits come <laughs> off. Yeah, you know those. You know those. Th- those like uh, gifs you see on Deviant Art of your favorite video game characters. Fuck, those are all officially licensed by the rights holders. Like, and they're in that stuff. game somewhere. Yes, that's Where actually you? it's why uh, there need to be so many Sonic games because they're constantly bankrupting themselves by <laughs> <laughs> licensing five million gifts of Sonic fucking different creatures. <laughs> like this character wasn't even in the budget. I don't know where this one came from. <laughs> There's yeah, we call it the the gaming s- economy stimulus package. <laughs> kind of an inside thing we say in the industry. Uh, who next? Hmm. Uh, it's got an answer. It's got an answer. Uh, what? Uh, what? What was, what was going on in Alan Wake too? What? The <laughs> <laughs> what were they smoking, and where can I get some? That guy was acting weird. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a good answer. I don't know, to be honest. Haley, Haley what have you been pondering? Hmm. <clears throat> this is tough. It's tough. I mean, all the best answers have already been picked. Yeah. I mean, there, are there are there mysteries of the video game legal world <laughs> that need to be <laughs> delved into? Mm. Pal world, real or not? Real or fake? <laughs> is Pal world real? Um, is, is Nintendo just uh, building a slave force by <laughs> <laughs> prosecuting anyone who's ever downloaded one of their games? Did Nintendo actually hire that man? That's one I wonder about a lot. <laughs> <laughs> would hmm. hmm you can also just do a, a callback to an old game query inside joke yeah 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 that's usually really good what's up with the moon oh, oh. <laughs> what's up with the moon dude the moon's been getting away with that shit for too fucking long the fuck's man. up with the moon May we yeah the moon. no sir it's kind of like a what's up type of question like, yeah. what's up? You want to do something, Moon? You yeah. good? We're all so okay with it. Are we born with the knowledge that a rock is just hanging there? Or do we become accustomed to it? And you know what I've heard is that one day, gravity's going to bring that moon down to Earth. And it's going to hit the Earth. Yeah, <laughs> You've what? heard that? We can hop on like, it and, like, party and stuff? No, it's going to collide and destroy the Earth. Like, I'm not fucking chilling oh. with it. Mother Earth. That's Gaia, bro. I love her. You know what I would do if the moon was crashing down to Earth? I go like this. Miss me. <laughs> <laughs> what you do in this situation? <laughs> Here's how I would survive the moon crashing into the earth. Sorry. Would you this guys is, I, rather date the moon or the sun? Great question. Bro, the sun, because she's hot. Yeah, she'll burn you, bro. She'll burn you fast. Move oh, on. Apologies to Ben Hansen. I'm dating the moon because I. she's got a lot of holes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Do another disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through disclaimer, it's gonna get even worse. <laughs> yeah, it's usually about the time that yeah the delirium Ooh. kicks in. Yeah. You know what? I, wow. I was thinking. Um, there's a big gaming mystery that happened between the end of uh, Game Query and now, which is, uh, did AJ and I see Cliff Blazinski at a bar once in Raleigh, North Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> On my birthday, Wall Cloud Moser was there. Yeah, it was something I've been pondering every time I see him in the news. I'm like, did he sing karaoke on Disney karaoke night, which it seemed to be? <laughs> Disney he sang karaoke night. Well, we weren't sitting on the karaoke level, so we could just hear oh, singing yeah. coming. And I think we'd be like, hmm, is that Cliffy B? Is he uh, yeah. is he singing under the singing the Gears of War theme up there? <laughs> Sounds like Gary Jewel Smith World. <laughs> it was Disney I and someone was like, no, you really need to play Mad World. This song means a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so AJ asked, what is gaming's biggest mystery? Unsolved. AJ, did you answer? Yeah, I said, what, what if Mario ate a mushroom and did not get high? Oh, okay. Two sides of the same coin. Yeah, right. So AJ said that Jacob said, what if Mario ate a mushroom and got high? <laughs> Leo said, what's going on in Alan Wake 2? We're all <laughs> asking that. Right? I asked, who's fucking? Uh. And Haley said, <laughs> what's, what's up, up with, with the, the moon? moon? Biggest <laughs> <Yeah>. gaming <laughs> mystery. 
That's the most Homer Simpson burp I've ever heard. That was that was his good. lips didn't like wiggle. That's <laughs> yeah. true. Well, and, uh, uh, here's the thing: I'm voting for Haley because I fucking hate the moon, dude. I know you hate the moon, bro. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's one for Haley. I got to give it to Jacob because he was the quickest to the draw. We all were thinking it. He said it. He won. Okay. Like uh, uh, the chat also said it. <laughs> respect. Okay. Respect. Uh, I uh, I have to give it to Blake. I Thank mean, you. I think who's fucking the motivating question of our time? That's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, I got to give it to Mario Mushroom. Get high. Okay. Yeah, out of principle, I do also have to give it to what if Mario ate a mushroom and got high? All right, Jacob winning that question. We need Jacob to break these fucking ties. It's like every time Blake votes for himself, AJ votes for himself, Leo and I have honor, so we don't vote for ourselves, and then there's a tie. (laughs) I've never voted for myself. uh, (laughs) But you don't have honor. So we, we, we have some listener questions. Mr. Blue 94 asking, is everyone here high? Can't speak for anyone else, nope, but no. I am I am almost five years sober, Mr. Blue 94. Leo, and Ricky he had Morty cancer. Shame on him. Life. And I had cancer. What are Leo? we smoking when we come up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. I drank a Red Bull at noon. Does That'll that do count? It. I got wings. Okay, so Crater is asking... So when this continues to win new show plus every week going forward, um, insert intelligent way of asking this here. I believe the question is, if this were to continue winning new show plus in perpetuity, would we continue doing the show? Un- I think un- uh, Ben will show up to each of our houses with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> As we've continues to win. Him, Blake and I share one. Uh, yeah. I think all evidence of this ever <laughs> happening will be erased. Less than 30 minutes after we end. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Though, yeah. so, as we discussed, it was Ben's idea, so maybe we'll continue yeah. doing it. Yeah, uh, I keep doing it. I'm getting paid this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I'll definitely keep doing it. Um, I don't know. Are there any other good questions here? You know. I saw some people wondering if we ever won the beef, the Min Max beef. Remember that beef <laughs> we had going on? Well, yeah, look at us well, now. What name's yeah, in the bottom right-hand corner? <laughs> That's right. Game queries on MinMax, baby. We won. Real alpha uh, versus beta situation. <laughs> um, I just noticed how my name is spelled <laughs> in the thing, which is honestly far worse than bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, Jake. That's all. That was Jacob. on purpose to be extra rude. Definitely not by mistake. <laughs> yep. Classic J- harassing. Jacob Gellar, our favorite <laughs> bitch boy. Correct. It's your turn. Of the Gellar region. Oh, gosh. Um, well, okay. Tell me if you think this is too similar to one of the previous questions. But I was I was thinking about the the paths that everyone has taken here. And the the shocking clarity of Haley to be like, you know what? This industry sucks. I'm going to just do something else that will be profitable. And I was kind of wondering, like, what should we have done? You know, if if we went back in time. But that is that too similar to just AJ going back in time and buying NVIDIA stocks? <laughs> no, because you're asking if we could go I'd back also... in time, what would our career be? I, I mean, it's like, how would, you know, maybe staying in the game industry, maybe not, but just like having the the clarity of foresight that Haley had to be like, this seems bad, and then doing something else. Um, Haley, for you, I guess you'll have to answer a different question, which is where do you think you would be if uh, you had instead decided to be a video game <laughs> journalist? Oh my. Fantastic question. Yeah. Uh, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Just hardcore anti woke pivot. I would just make one of those YouTube (laughs) channels that, like, they turned the Spider Man puddles gay. What are they doing? I would make so much money, and I'd I'd sleep better at night, probably. I don't care. I can see that for you. (laughs) Thank you. Really yeah, I, I think it, it wouldn't be that oh. hard of a pivot. You just turn the <laughs> irony meter down like 5%. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that's such a good example. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over that. Wow, that was great. Uh, I think I'd still a, I'd, I'd be a pet portrait artist who sometimes writes about games when there's a job. <laughs> that's what I would be. Right. <laughs> I'm not laid off. Uh, I would uh, grind up World of Warcraft accounts and sell them <laughs> for oh, three dollars. You know day. what? No, I do bath water. <laughs> I would do Haley bath water, oh, but then but okay. then sell it. At, it's just water from my sink because I'm not actually gonna do that. But they don't got to know that. Okay. Yeah. It's like that would. That's just your your side hustle. Even though it quickly overtook the profits you were making from the fifteen dollars a news article you were getting for IGN.com. <laughs> it would also take over the profits I'm getting now as a lawyer. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> hmm hmm like i think I'm my sure answer this isn't a you've been having recently what's that yeah i said i'm sure this isn't a thought blake has had recently i think i'd be one of those any circumcision dudes so what yeah. professional blake you can do that now i mean like well, you're I, I you're between it. careers yeah well i'm thinking about it i'm thinking you know come on Give me a little skin pack. Put him back. Give, on. It, give it back. Give it That's back. Like, would you <laughs> be a doctor? Like, would I be a doctor? Well, oh, I would sew it back That's on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, go to medical yeah, school. I would sew it back on. Yeah, you, you, know. you use that little pulley thing that the guy in that episode of How to with John Wilson was using. <laughs> right. I always various, assumed. I always assumed the the one ball thing was a circumcision accident. <laughs> <laughs> I just slipped. <laughs> what? The doctor showed yeah. up and was like, uh, ball removal, right? They're like, what? I was <laughs> like, come standing? on, just a, yeah, well, I was like, doc, come on, just a little off the top. But, you know, I got more than a <laughs> A little off the bottom. <laughs> That's your standing adult circumcision. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think, hey, come on, give it back. I've lost too much down there, is what I'm saying. Give, give me a little back, you know what I'm saying? Is this uh, how we treat our beautiful kings? Yeah, blessed to not have this problem. Um, I think I would have done uh, exactly the same thing that I did uh, up until right now at this point in my channel and then sell it for like seven million dollars to an NFT, uh, you know, <laughs> micro game company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you would never hear from me again. Um, I think I would have started a podcast with Jacob Geller earlier to cash in few years earlier on his <laughs> yeah but I, it is so lucrative i mean you like you could have just quit game informer with the amount of money we're making <laughs> i got a raise the other day i don't know what to tell you my boss is jacob geller llc rocks <laughs> yeah, they call it the sympathy raise where the boss <laughs> takes less money because he feels give, bad the, stimulus package. the game industry doesn't know that um okay so jacob wants to know if you could go back in time what is a different career path he would have chosen um jacob would have sold his channel for seven million dollars in accurate evaluation you think maybe probably some big numbers going around yeah yeah (laughs) okay up there for uh to an nft game company aj would have pivoted to a hardcore anti-woke youtuber (laughs) Haley would have sold her bath water though it's actually just sink water (laughs) uh fraud Fraud. <laughs> Leo would have just grinded World of Warcraft and sold accounts, and I would have become a uh, guy who sells foreskin back on, or sews foreskin back on for dudes. I'm um, voting for AJ. That AJ. Was funny. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so funny. funny. That's so. Funny. I do have a. I have a question about the bathwater. We it's we we were on it and then left, mm-hmm. and I want to come back. Do you think specifically in the fraud case? I'm sure those Bell Delphine freaks have like tested for like no, oh, DNA they have. cells. They have. So they it's have. like it is they know that it's real cuz it's like what's to stop everyone from just doing fucking I faucet feel like, water? My I question feel like I read, Oh god. We all have a lot of thoughts in the bathwater. My yeah. turn first. Shut up. I need to talk about this. It's really important. <laughs> All I'm thinking is there's her getting in the tub and sitting in there or just sticking her foot in for a sec. You know, yeah. there's a big difference. It still would have her DNA in there, but it hits a little bit different. And the consumer doesn't have to know what's going I mean, on. I do like baths. It's not like taking a bath is like, oh, got to do this again. But imagine if you could monetize your baths. 
There was that woman, and I'm Ben Hansen. I'm so sorry. There was that woman who was selling her farts, who like got like a disease because she did it too much. Yeah, yeah. That's this hurt, is dude. like a real story. She that. got the disease. Yeah, she made damn beans. Yeah. Mm. She got the disease. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, so by my count, that's three votes for AJ. Two are unaccounted for. Let's make it a baker's dozen. Okay. I'll vote for myself. Okay. Thought you did. I thought you had honor. I've never done that before. <laughs> Might as well start now. Haley, have you voted yet? I voted for AJ. Media vote. Oh, for I thought AJ. you had honor. <laughs> I thought I had honor a, too. <laughs> that's a clean sweep for AJ Moser. Any final listener questions before we go to the final query for the night? Can I saw I just... a really good one from Crater. Can I just ask AJ really okay. quick, what would your first video title be on your channel to kick you off your uh, channel? This, they turn the puddles in Spider-Man gay. <laughs> woke puddles, less yeah, reflective. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Crater asked, does New York have, uh, let's see. Oh god. Presumably fancier flavors of kid cuisine. <laughs> I would assume if I went down to the grocery store below our apartment, which I guess I shouldn't say the name of, they would have a, a New York apartment with a grocery store on it. <laughs> Can't well, be many of those. It has a very specific name. It's uh, either. Well, actually, yeah, there are like three <laughs> grocery stores in New York. But New York was my flagship kid cuisine restaurant. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Five the Guy Fieri restaurant. You can dine in at kid cuisine. <laughs> we. Uh, Two days ago, we a bunch of us went to Applebee's, which feels like you're at the adult kid cuisine factory. Like, it's just <laughs> funny food. Like, it's the dumbest mini. I had, I had a, a drink with a gummy shark in it. Yeah. Oh, that I had, sounds awesome. Cute. I had a quesadilla burger, which is just a cheeseburger inside a quesadilla. Like, it's goofy. It's goofy food. I thought I you were just going to say quesadilla <laughs> for a no. second. I was like, well, wow. we, got, we got the appetizer combo, so I did also have a quesadilla. You got the what? Appetizer combo. You had That's, a quesadilla in the appetizer and then ordered a quesadilla entree? Yeah, it's my fucking birthday, bro. I don't give Wow, that kind of sounds like a cookout tray. Yeah. Bet you missed that, AJ. I do. Yeah, there's nowhere good to eat in New York. Remember when we got cookout <laughs> and went to see Fast X afterwards? So yeah, the, the, the highest like high, the lowest low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We ate, Bla- cookout. Blake's, uh, we ate you- cookout in 95 degree weather while breathing an exhaust view yeah well and your your hush puppies were so hot that they burnt through the styrofoam of your tray but then you still ate them meaning that your body's probably just i mean you said you said that you wouldn't choose to get cancer again and then you <laughs> ate maybe one of the most carcinogenic substances more I'm holes in to... the moon in your stomach hey i'm ready to risk it all for cookout okay any final listener questions get them in now or forever hold your peace it's mostly just the embarrassed Sarah emoji in our chat <laughs> over and over. <laughs> God. Do you think if Sarah Podzorski was on this uh, podcast, she would die? Oh, we <laughs> need Or would she flourish? Would bus. you guys she let me be... have another girl? She might be really good on games. <laughs> we had girls. We don't, we've never seen Sarah unleashed. <laughs> we had girls on the show. Emma Kidwell was on the show. Yeah, uh, but you never let them stay for more than an app. You said, out of here, get, get, and hit them with a broom. Yeah. We did do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah that, if we get Sarah good. on this for episode two, it's a sweep. Chat saying. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what we can do. This uh, might be her like home. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. I think so. Exposing deep truths. Yeah. Um, right where she lives. Crater's asking, "Where's Reagan?" Reagan, like literally right there. I keep staring Reagan. at her. Yeah, oh, she perked her. up. <laughs> can you see her? Can you see her yeah. on the screen? Yeah, screen? you can. There did you, you wrap her up, or did she do that herself? She wrapped herself up. Ah, little Ch- Chihuahua. Chihuahuas love to burrow. They're burrowers. Yeah. Uh, AJ does this really cute thing. This is sincere. He does this really cute thing where I'll just be like sitting <laughs> at my computer and he'll walk into my room and just start pressing down on my bed trying to find her. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll come, out and, yeah, she'll come out and stare at him. That's cute. Um, okay. 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 Oh. Okay. 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 Leo? Brother? Okay. Take it home. So, have you heard of this game, Fortnite? No. Yes. Yeah. Big fan. 
these days Fortnite's going so crazy. They've got Rocket League in there. They've got Lego Minecraft in there. Uh-huh. And they've even got Fuser in there. <gasps> All just are. in Fortnite launcher. They've absorbed these they games. Launcher, I think, <laughs> shut down last year. Launcher, I barely know her. No, but they actually put it in Fortnite. Yeah, they they just didn't Fortnite. retain right. any they of the employees. Uh, oh, listen, listen. Okay, okay. okay so we Leo. What's the next game that's going to get absorbed into Fortnite? Okay. <laughs> Legally, I don't know if I can answer this one. I might know. <laughs> well, my answer was the guy game, so I think legally I can't answer that one either. Yeah, Jacob, I would abstain from that one. <laughs> not, not, not a good one there. Pong. Pong? Uh, and you Pong. can change the paddles. So it can be like Mr. Beast and Ninja, and I can bounce a little ball between the two of them, like a sort of form wow. of never-ending torture. Okay. Hmm. I think they're going to put Player Unknown's Battlegrounds in there so we can finally have a good battle royale in Fortnite for once. <laughs> you would hate Player Unknown's Battlegrounds if you played it right now. No. No way. I love that game. I still watch, like, I still watch the, 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 there's the streamer I still watch, Acculite. I watch his Player Unknown Battlegrounds streams. It's awesome. The game rocks. Okay, I'll put in the new show game. plus poll and we'll see. We'll okay. See I'll, 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 hey, if Ben wants to pay me more money to show up, I'll play anything. Except did you the see that game. they I won't play that? They did essentially put uh, Peter Molyneux's curiosity, what's inside the cube in Fortnite, because there's a block there that has like 30 trillion health that every player just stands and shoots at. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Um, okay, who else? Who's next? Simpsons Wrestling. Mm. That would oh, be bad. good. That's That'd a good, good one, dude. Yeah. And then and then Homer Simpson could Homer wrestle Simpson. Peter Griffin. <gasps> Yo! Finally! Accurate Homer Simpson. What the gamers have been waiting for. Okay. Remember when we made Serial play that when we were interns? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, Serial's first appearance on anything. On, idea. on anything on ever. Life. On Earth. On life, yeah. <laughs> that was the first one we did, right? Was that our first piece of content as a group? I think so. Yeah. What wow. made us we do that? I don't know. I we remember. were just smoking some crazy shit, feeling all <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I just think had like some game bananas game. crazy idea. Game Informer internship was like, we were just fucking smoking weed all day. People don't realize yeah. that. We were chooming. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's unpaid, sure, but you know. We hop barter. Let's just say room. they barter. Let's Free just lead. say the wages are high. <laughs> <laughs> And we're doing a gesture. Oh, we're doing a weed smoke. <laughs> right. Where would you guys uh, hide your weed in the GI office in the vault? The Titanfall statue. I, I uh, was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we I would, up, between the pages of the heavy rain script, the funniest thing ever that I still oh, think about. Oh, no, no, Beyond Two yeah. Souls. Even beyond funnier. Two Souls, yes. <laughs> I'm smoking on that Beyond Two Souls. <laughs> Yeah, I cut out a hole in that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is maybe the perfect script if you needed to like hide a handgun in a thousand blank pages. I would hide it in Andy Mack's office and I'd have to mission impossible down to get it without him seeing every day. It's just for a little thrill. Yeah, uh, I had mine under Reiner's hat, so it was even harder. <laughs> I had mine in Matt Miller's Star Wars figurines. Oh man! If you forget which, it's if you forget which one there. you put it in, yeah. Oh That's my right. lord! Even he couldn't find it. Even if he knew I was hiding stuff in there. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jacob, Leo, next Fortnite game in Fortnite. Um, Max Payne three, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's playing the crowd. Get him out of here. Remember? Uh, Remember? After much consideration, I'm gonna stick with the guy game. <laughs> <laughs> you had to check with Blake his hates that choice. Not Haley. <laughs> A lot of good. Jesus Christ, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob used to come on the show and he'd be like, I love being on Game Query, but I can never tweet about being on it because of the things you all said. And then Jacob <laughs> comes on here and brings up the guy game so foul, I don't even want to talk about why it's awful for him to bring it up. <laughs> what are you he talking about? The most foul game. <laughs> Go on. Like, it's literally illegal. 
Uh, anyway, that great answer. Jacob. It's Thirst Council. I, mean, I, I would <laughs> look. It would wipe Fortnite off the face of the earth. Are you saying that's a bad thing? Everyone would win their lawsuits against it instantly. <laughs> Tim Sweeney would have the most annoying tweets of all time about that. Okay. Tim Sweeney, free speech absolutist, goes too far. <laughs> Woke Apple has gone too far this time, folks. All right, so Leo asked, now this might be a typo, but I wrote down, next fur note game uh, okay. to be put into Fortnite. He said Max Payne 3, a great answer. answer. I said Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. AJ said Pong. Haley said Simpsons Wrestling. And Jacob said the guy game. <laughs> I got to vote for Max Payne 3. Are you out of your mind? Come on. Yeah. Now. Great All game. Right. Great game. Having it access to, uh, accessible on a free to play launcher? Yeah. Come on. I got to I got to vote for Could myself. I... No okay. honor. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing it. Can I add can I add my ninja skin to Max Payne 3? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm going to be voting for Max Payne 3. Yeah, it could be Optimus Prime and Max Payne 3. <laughs> Jacob, are you also voting for Max yeah. Payne 3? Okay. Leo, did you vote? I'm going Simpsons Wrestling. I th- feel like it's a long okay. overdue. Okay. Okay. Mm. So that's, uh, Leo takes that one home. Now let's do our final deliberations. Find out the best question of the evening. I started the show off by saying, mm. hey, what is the dumbest thing to happen in the time since Game Query ended and today. Uh, myself and AJ tied. I said AI, and AJ said Hogwarts Legacy. Then Haley asked, if you could go in the past to the day we were going to record the first episode and tell yourself one thing, what would you say? Leo and myself tied again. Leo said, don't quit Game Query, though we do need to caveat that by saying that was probably a bit, and then I said I would not get cancer. Then AJ asked, what is gaming's biggest mystery? Jacob won that one with, what if Mario ate mushroom and got high? Then Jacob himself asked, if you could go back in time, what would you do differently? Is there a different career path you would take? AJ won by saying he'd have a hardcore pivot to anti-woke YouTube. (laughs) And then finally, Leo asked, what is the next game they're adding to Furnote? Which he won his own question by saying, Max Payne 3. Good now, queries. What are is our favorite query for the episode? Think hard. I think. I'm gonna go for Haley's. Okay. Okay. That's one for Haley. I'm gonna go with Jacob's because it resulted in AJ's answer, which was my favorite yeah. answer. I'm gonna also uh, vote for Jacob. You know, I'm going to vote for Jacob because I don't think I have a single game <gasps> query point. Wow. And so this is Iconic. my chance to get on the board. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. I have half a point, right? Jacob, you you have a point and a half. Oh, wow. OK, well, I'm still voting for me. OK, that's okay. fair. Yeah, Two that's and a half points, baby. OK, so I have three for Jacob, one for someone, for one for Haley. <laughs> someone else. Someone else. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Who hasn't voted yet? Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd vote Blake. I like. I'd like the the. That was a good important catch up question. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But it matters little because Jacob Geller, Jacob Geller, is awarded a point, which means at the end of what I believe would be perhaps Game Query episode sixty six, if you factor in. We did an episode on the death anniversary. Did we do it episodes on both death anniversaries? Yes. Yeah, okay, those so are on our I believe, channel too. I believe this would be Game Query episode 67. Well, we this, gotta do at least two more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is how the points break down. Now, I, of course, am in the lead with 12 and a half points. Our men and women and the armed service are coming up strong behind us with 12 points. Then AJ has 11 points, Haley has 10 and a half points, oh. and Leo Big Nuts Vader has six and a half points. Now we have two listeners on the board, Bobby Backwards and Matt Thomas, both tied with one point. Joe Buckles has three points, and then special guest Serial Vasquez has a point and a half. Jacob Geller now has two and a half points. John and the Fellows, Ghost of Tsushima, Hitman, but not Hitman VR, Coco, Kenneth Shepard, and Beanie Tuesday, and Dan Riker 
Dan was never on the show. All have one point <laughs> each. Emma Kidwell we're, has half a point. Were our men and women in the armed forces ever on the show? There yeah, they were. They, they were. Oh, they yeah. were. I would take uh, 12 points. Yeah, I can't remember that either. <laughs> I, I, believe, I believe on the last episode we donated all of the points to the men and women of the armed forces. <laughs> Whose who's points did we donate? I don't know. Just all uh, of them. <laughs> Emma Kidwell has half a point, and then Ben Hanson, Michael Larry Luke, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, David Shimamura, Mike Mahardy, Watchdogs, Legion, all have zero points, and then with negative one points, Jeremy Bowl of Dog Aww. Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a motherfucking game query. God damn. Real quick, Kath is lurking in the Twitch chat, says, can I get a point? Yeah, 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 of course. Hold on, hold on. But no more, this is the only one we're adding. Kath is no lurking. More. One point. Okay, man. I had a blast, folks. Jesus, what a great time! What a great same, time. Same bad time, same bad place. Next week, let's point to the community. The Katie, powers, if the you want in this, your hands. Yeah. yeah. If you want um, this to continue, vote for it for new show plus. Absolutely, we'll uh, we'll we'll do all the sign offs here in a second, but. Big shouts out to Ben Hansen for letting us come do this. He did not need to do yeah, this. Yeah, he actually, he told me just now that he approved of everything that was said on this episode. <laughs> yeah, so, nice. Okay. Uh, but yeah. shouts out to him. It, it was his, his idea to let us do it. I'm sure he regrets that, but nevertheless, we had a blast doing it. Uh, God, I don't know. Go through, just go through the round table. Tell everyone where to find you. I'm going to sign off uh, first because no one can find me anywhere and I have to go do my job. Uh, okay. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Jacob, where does everyone find you? Come on now. Uh, oh, well, everyone can now. find I me. I got it one sec. Oh. Oh, actually, I kind of like this look for Blake. Whoa, you're like split in half. Cool. I'm Whoa. over here. Now I'm over here. What's up? And Leo, Leo is just <laughs> we're only seeing the top thank, of his head. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Um, Jacob, look, Jacob. listen, listen to the Something Rotten podcast, Blake Hester's sole source of employment. Uh, it's a very good podcast. We talk about rotten games. We are. This is fucked up, Blake. Quickly approaching the number of episodes <laughs> of Game Query. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Which, do we have to just stop at 66? Would it be rude <laughs> to surpass that number? Yeah. Well, until Something Rotten becomes a better podcast, we can't surpass the amount of episodes. And I just don't foresee us ever beating the best podcast of all time. No, I, I don't either. Um, yeah. Yeah, other than that, uh, why, why don't you go look at uh, Lost in Colt's Twitter account or my yeah. Twitter account? There you go. And that Twitter account is uh, Jacob Geller. Just type it. There in. you go. There you go. Leo. Uh, I defer my plug to the Game Query archive of all our episodes. If you want access to that, Google Game Query in quotes Discord. That'll bring you to a tweet. You join through that link. You make a quick post in there. Say, hey, I'm looking for the archive. Somebody might help you out. Yeah, absolutely. Haley. I got to use my plug to same thing Leo just said. And I'll personally help you out. I'll be the one. I'll be the one. You at me in that channel. I'll find you. This wow. is I, I can't believe y'all are endorsing this behavior. <laughs> um, and if I'm going to plug anything, it's of course going to be the Game Query PayPal account, which I have uh, <laughs> taken as my own PayPal. That is now my personal PayPal. That's at Game Query. So uh, please send me money. Or if you're upset about anything I've said, please request me money. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, shit. Sure. I don't know how to sign off the MinMax stuff. Is there like MinMax stuff we should plug? Shout out. No, this is Game Query, man. Oh, well, in that case, we're done. Thanks, everyone. This was fun. Hope to see you next week. But if not, smell you later. (laughs) Smell you later, nerds. Every week, we let Patreon supporters choose which new show we create with New Show Plus. Should we create another episode of the show you just watched? Check out the biggest new game release? Get into Sea of Thieves? Create an exercise show? It is your call. So thanks to everybody who subscribes on YouTube or supports us over on Patreon. MinMax exists because of you. As always, if you enjoy MinMax content, any help telling a friend is appreciated.